Hey everyone, we're back on the channel. That was a weird wave. I don't, I, I don't know. Anyways, we're back on the channel and today we're playing Raid Raptors on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I figured I'd do something with the KC Cup that's going on right now. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I figured I'd play Raid Raptors in it. So in this video, I'm going to make three videos. I'm planning on making three videos. Let me just explain real quick. This first video, I'm going to go over some replays that I captured. And next video, it'll be live duels. And the third one... I might mix both in. That's what I was planning on doing. Anyways, if you're a Raid Raptor fan, if you want to see some Raid Raptor action, leave a like on the video, consider commenting, and let's just hop straight into it. We're back and we're dueling a Yami Yugi. Our guy's name is Kayo. Kayo. Anyways, we're using our skill, Raptors Rising. And our opening hand is not bad. Not bad at all, by all means. We started off with Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius and Raid Raptor Vanishing Lanius, as well as Shall um, Swallow's Nest. I said Shallow. Swallow's Nest and Mystical Space Typhoon. I was expecting Dark Magician, but this guy is playing Fire Kings. Respectable. Oh, that was nasty. I'm sorry. Anyways, he ended his board with the Negate. And the continuous spell, activate Mystical Space Typhoon. In retrospect, I don't know if this was the best idea. Because I don't think the continuous spell does much. It just gives them 100, right? And it's like a search, which I don't know. I don't know if that was worth it. Anyways, Normal Summon Vanishing Lanius, activating Vanishing Vanishing Lanius' effect. Um, he negates our Vanishing Lanius. That's why we use Swallow's Nest to tribute the monster that he negated because I believe it negates and destroys, to summon another Raid Raptor Vanishing Lanius. He negates the one that got sent to the graveyard. Activate our second Vanishing Lanius' effect, allowing us to special summon the Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius from our hand. I activate Tribute's effect. I believe I send Mimicry. It's the only target you'd send. Banish Mimicry. You get to add a Raid Raptor from your deck to your hand. Um, it's a Raid Raptor card, not a monster. I thought it was a monster. So normally, I go for the continuous spell, Raid Raptor's Nest. But as you guys saw, we already had Raid Raptor's Nest. Raid Raptor's Nest, pretty self-explanatory. You have two Raid Raptors. At first, I thought they were Raid Raptors of different names. But no, it's just two Raid Raptors. If you have two Raid Raptors on your field, you get to add a Raid Raptor from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Um, rank 4 play into Raid Raptor Force Strix. Force Strix, you detach an Xyz material to add a Raid Raptor from your deck to your hand. No, a level 4 Winged Beast, right? A level 4 Dark Winged Beast type from your deck to your hand, which is basically every Raid Raptor. And the skill. Let me talk about the skill for a little Let me talk about the skill for a little bit because, god damn, man, it's so good. So as you can see, normally, Raid Raptor Rise Falcon, his summoning requirement is three level four winged beast monsters. I believe that's his original summoning requirement, which in Duel Links, it could be a lot sometimes. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good. But for me, that's, that's a lot. So in with this skill, you can actually summon him. You can just... Um, overlay him on top of any Raid Raptor Xyz monster and you, you could use the second part of the skill you detach a material from Raid Raptor Rise Falcon to set a rank up spell from your deck um, to your spell in trap zone that's pretty good uh, pr pretty good it's a consistent searcher for the deck and it makes you want to summon Rise Falcon much more often anyways special summon Singing Lanius, then special summon Pain Lanius, and I summon... Who do I summon? Uh, oh, this one. Ice Beast. This one. This card is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This card can help you get over Time Lords. Because in this KC Cup run, I ran into a couple Time Lords. I don't beat them every single time, but this card, that Ice Beast card, does help out a lot when I'm fighting against Time Lords. But we use our rank up magic raid force to rank up Rise Falcon into rank five Raid Raptor Stranger Falcon. Let me talk about, I'm sorry, it's just, 
it's like I'm wanting to burp, but it's just lingering in my chest. But um, let me talk about that rank up spell. Rank up magic, raid force. The first effect, pretty basic. Target an Xyz monster, rank up into a raid raptor that is one level higher. That's it. Pretty dunzo. It's its graveyard effect. You can activate it the same turn that you activate the actual rank up card. And what it is, you banish a raid raptor from your hand. A raid raptor card. I thought it was a monster, but just a raid raptor card. So it could be a spell card, it could be a trap card, a card. And you get to add a raid raptor, um, not a raid raptor, a rank up spell from your graveyard to your hand. So if you use rank up magic soul shape force, soul shape force, one of the best ones, like I would argue it is the best rank, at least in duel links, for sure. It's the best one in duel links, but in the actual like TCG, I would argue um, Phantom Knight's rank up magic force is better. Maybe skip force, skip force is pretty good too, but we're talking about um, duel links and what soul shape force does you pay half of your life points to summon um, an Raid Raptor Xyz monster from your graveyard, special summon it, then you rank up two ranks into any Xyz monster. So let's say you have a like rank 5 Stranger Falcon, what I do in this deck. Rank 5 Stranger Falcon, I go rank 7 Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. If you have a rank 5, you have access to any rank 7 monster in the game. And that rank up spell, it states that the special summon counts as an Xyz summon. So if you like Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, his effect to destroy all level 7 or lower monsters, that's when he's Xyz summoned. But since that rank up spell states this counts as an Xyz summon, he gets that effect. So it's pretty cool. So if you use it on a rank four, like on four Strix or something, you have access to pretty much any rank six monster the game has available. It's pretty cool. Like, and you can, and it's not once per turn. It is not once per turn. And that's insane. Like, I think that's what makes this deck so potent because you could just keep doing it. Like you can add it back. You can activate Soul Shape Force. You have um, rank up Raid Force in your graveyard. Banish Raid Force, banish a Raid Raptor in your hand, bounce Soul Shape Force back to your hand, and you can activate it again that same turn. Like, it's pretty good. I think it's where the deck is the strongest in. Anyways, I feel like I should be talking more about this actual game. Anyways, we summon we summon um, Rise Falcon, we summon my I summon my Malevolent Sin. I didn't need to because I already had Stranger Falcon in the graveyard and what I said before, I'm just going to summon Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon off of it. So I didn't necessarily, or did I? Well, three attacks. No, I think I, I needed it because at first I did it out of spite because I was like, man, you summon your Malevolent Sin, I'm going to summon my Malevolent Sin. But um, I summon it, I activate Malevolent Sin's effect, banish his Malevolent Sin, and I just attack assuming he was able to shield it which he was he has a kite roid in his hand he negates my malevolent sins attack odd eyes rebellion dragon gets three attacks like i thought it was three attacks on monsters no it's three attacks like just in general three attacks so that's pretty good like that's a otk machine like <laughs> I would talk so much smack about Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. I'm like, man, like, it's not even that good. Like, it's too hard to summon. Or I was just complain complaining about it. And now here I am winning most of my games with Rebellion Dragon. Like, it's just so good, man. It's so good. We we clapped this guy's cheeks. Kayo's cheeks. Um, I think I already said it earlier in the video. But if you guys are Raid Raptor fans, for sure, leave a like for your boy. We're going to go on to the next replay. Right, we're dueling against Sky. We're going first. I remember this replay because um, it was an Exodia deck. And we bricked, man. We bri It was looking bad for your boy. Like, I, we bricked so bad. I just, I wanted to, I was going to scoop, man. I was just going to leave. I was like, nah, man. There's no way. There's no way I win this one. But it looked like he bricked pretty badly, too. So, I stayed. But yeah, this is a hand that you don't want to see. 
we started off with the singing Lanius uh, rank up soul shape force and raid force two copies pretty bad I didn't even set Lanius in defense mode because I was I was gonna scoop I was like man this is some boo boo cheeks but I saw that he didn't really do much this turn and I was like okay I'll stay let's give it a shot My only complaint about this deck, it's not bad. It's not a bad deck. It's pretty good. I would say it's pretty good. I wouldn't even say it's okay. I would say it's pretty good. It's just way too expensive to make, man. <laughs> you guys have no clue how hard I had to grind. How hard. Well, not hard, but how many gems went into this deck. It was insane, man. This is de Oh, lose that that focus. Lose focus. All right. Sorry. It was insane, man. So many gems. So just the gems, just the gem costs alone, I think I deserve a like. But, hey, man. It's whatever you want. Anyways, I have Flip Pup, Raid Raptor, Singing Lanius. All he did was set. I summon Singing because we have all of our rank of spells from our entire deck in our hand. It's pretty, it's, it's not great. It's not great. That's what I would say. If we didn't have this beautiful skill, so we rank up into, not rank up, but we exceed summon into four Strix, activating the four Strix's effect. I add Tribute Lanius, I banish Mimicry Lanius, oh, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Well, back to the skill, um, I could have swore I used Mimicry's effect, but um, rank up into Raid Raptor Rise Falcon. Okay, I've already showed the summoning animation. We'll just skip it this time. Um, activate rank up magic raid force. I go into rank five, raid raptor, um, stranger falcon. And I'm going to go into revolution falcon because I detach, um, oh my goodness, what's his name? Force Strix. I activate, I'm pretty sure I'm going to, oh yeah, I do. I have to activate his effect detached to pop a card. Oh, now I activate mimicry Lanius. I could have swore I did that first. Banish, I get to add a second tribute. Why did I add a second tribute? Well, I mean, in retrospect, I, I, I mean, I knew I was going to win this turn. There's just no way, but I should have gone with the Banishing Lanius in case, like, he was able to survive or something. But yeah, rank up magic, Soul Shape Force, pay 2,000. Special summon Force Strix. And I summon Raid Raptor Revolution Falcon. But Revolution Falcon's so underrated, man. Specifically for the effect that when he battles a monster, that monster's attack and defense, not just attack and defense, becomes zero. Like, it's it's wild, man. It's just so good. It's such a good board wiper, too, because his detach effect is, um, you detach so he can attack all monsters your opponent controls. And with that ability to make them all zero, immaculate, beautiful. Anyways, we're going to go on to our second replay. All right, we're back. We're dueling Ander. Oh, some mark. I don't even know what that is. But I'm pretty sure I said we'll be back with our second replay. This is our third replay. Just letting you, letting you guys know that I know this isn't the second replay. I'm a little... I'm a little slow sometimes, bro. But anyways, this opening hand is kind of... Could have been better. Could have been better. But we started with Cattle Call. Cattle Call is another card that I want to talk about. Because you could do some pretty goofy stuff with Cattle Call. Especially with our new skill. And I say R as in... And I'm speaking to the Raid Raptor brethren, brethren right now. Yes, R skill. Man, I was gonna do this. I was gonna do this KC Cup thing, but with um PK, cause I like PK. PK's cool. I've been using it a lot, but I mean, when it comes to like the viewers, though, I don't want you guys to get bored. That and I haven't seen people play Raid Raptors. Like I've seen one guy, two guys, but they don't really play the deck. Like, oh sorry. Ugh. that was nasty but um they don't really play the deck in the sense where um 
they just like it's, it's expensive it's expensive to make so a lot of the deck lists don't play tribute or mimicry or they'll only play one tribute and like no mimicry like it's pretty wild so that's why i want to play raid raptors because i'm just like you know what i want to play raid raptors really cool deck i um i recommend it if yeah no i recommend it i was gonna say i recommend it if you have gems to spend but yeah no i recommend it it's pretty fun <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying man pretty fun deck but we summon vanishing lanius activated swallow's nest summon tribute lanius you guys already know what fire king avatar does he's a negate and i activate cattle call let me talk about cattle call real quick let me talk about it cattle call you we use it for the wing beast <coughs> Ooh, sorry that was gross <clears throat> that came out of nowhere you send your wing beast to the graveyard special summon and uh i say an exes but a monster from your extra deck of the same original typing since we're using it gives you different options i think you have like a beast and like um it's different like three like it's three and all but i know for sure it's wing beast in this deck you send your face up raid raptor to the x to the, oh my god i can't speak <laughs> you send your face up raid raptor to the graveyard in order to cheat out one extra deck monster normally it's not really the move because cattle call negates the monster's effect and it can't even attack but with this beautiful skill you could just slap rise falcon right on top of that puppy send it to the graveyard and you get to add a rank up magic card from your deck like why would you not play cattle call in this deck the only thing that kind of sucks though is that since cattle call um special summons the exes monster you won't be able to activate soul shape force since um because of the that one rule where it's like since the monster wasn't properly exes summoned it can't be special summoned from the graveyard or something like that but our skill raptors rising has one part to it that i always forget about and it screws me over sometimes because the deck revolves a lot around level fours the terms you the terms the time the turn you activate the effect where you detach one from rise falcon to set a rank up card from your deck to the graveyard that turn all oh, i thought it was just wing beast but no all oh, rank four exceeds monsters on the field and in the graveyard go back to the extra deck so with cattle call you you would be like dang well that sucks i just threw away a uh, four strix or i just threw away i don't know another rank four wing beast or a uh, wing beast or something um if you use rise falcon that rank four monster is gonna go back to the deck so i thought that was pretty cool anyways I, that's all i wanted to say about cattle call i'll talk more about it in the end of the video anyways i, f I haven't really been talking about the duels but he summons Malevolent Sin, banishes Stranger, Stranger Falcon. He attacks with 2,400 mighty attack points. Malevolent Sin comes back. No, Malevolent Sin. Um, Stranger Falcon comes back. You may be breaking my cards, but you won't break me. Let's giddy. Anyways, audience, guys, did you guys like Arc 5? Leave a comment if you liked Arc 5 or like the video. Do something. Let me know. Because I do know Arc 5 is very mixed amongst Yu-Gi-Oh fans. For good reason. Like, it had a lot of potential. It had a lot. And I mean a lot of potential. Anyways, we use our trusty ability once again. Slap Raid Raptor Rise Falcon right on top of Stranger Falcon. Activate our beautiful skill once again. Set Raid Raptor. Um, not Raid Raptor. <laughs> rank up Magic Soul Shape Force activate soul shape force special summon stranger falcon back to our side of the field go into rebellion dragon attack for game easy dub i'm just kidding not, not easy dub like it could have gone both ways like our hand wasn't amazing if he would have been able to interrupt us one more time it would have been over but hey we still got the dub though summon odd eyes rebellion dragon his effect activates, he has no level 7 monsters, that effect doesn't affect Xyz monsters because they have ranks, 
attack once. Attack again for game. I should have attacked with Rise Falcon just for the principle, but here we are. We beat Tristan. Oh, dude. I've only been sitting in this chair for like 30 minutes and I feel like an old man. Anyways, that's going to be it for our replays. This is going to be the part of the video where I talk about the deck list. So give me one second. We're back. So right now we're playing double mimicry, double tribute, three vanishing. We're playing one pain Lanius and one singing Lanius. I was playing two singing Lanius. I might bump it back up to two. Who knows? But I'm playing double swallow's nest and one cattle call right now. Oh, I removed it. One cattle call right now. I was playing two. I might bump it back up to two if I'm being totally honest just because the deck its biggest weakness is the normal summon if your opponent can jack up your normal summon if they can jack up our tribute Lanius summon or our vanishing Lanius summon it basically ends our turn and swallows nest and cattle call helps uh, help us play around that it helps us play around book of moon helps us get sniped like random board pops like it helps us get around that so i might play it back at two i might ditch book of moon and play that back at two because i want to keep the deck at 20 as well but anyways um cattle call at one we're playing double rank up magic raid force and this is going to be our extra deck as you guys recalled in the in the um, replays, we had Malevolent Sin in the in the extra deck. I swapped him out for Raid Raptor Blaze Falcon because Blaze Falcon, a part of him being another level five target, his destruction effect doesn't target. I didn't know that. I thought it did, but it just wouldn't make sense if it did because it destroys all monsters your opponent controls that were special summoned. So it's like, why would that target? But I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was on, <laughs> but I subbed it in. I subbed it out for Raid Raptor Blaze Falcon. We have Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon in our extra deck. Raid Raptor Revolution Falcon. Our boy Raid Raptor Rise Falcon. Our Ice Beast Zero. Yeah, our Ice Beast. I'm not even gonna try to say that. Raid Raptor Four Strix. Evil Sworn Nightmare. I didn't get to summon him. I didn't get to summon him, but he's good. Like he's pretty good, pre pretty good going first card in my opinion. He he's a walking book of moon. There's just no other way to explain it. You special summon a monster, quick effect, flip it face down. Pretty good, pretty solid. The only reason I believe earlier in this video, I was like, the fact that all of your rank fours go back to the extra deck kind of messed me up. I've used that effect, but I've summoned this guy, Evil Sworn Nightmare, thinking he won't get shuffled, not shuffled, but thinking he won't go back to the extra deck, but he does. And I'm like, damn it, dude. <laughs> it sucks, because I'm just like, I think I did such a big brain play just for my monster to go back to the deck. Like, come on, man. Like, please. But anyways pretty good then yeah you guys know blaze falcon and stranger falcon stranger falcon's effect i like playing stranger falcon because of the pop obviously and when he gets destroyed and is it destroyed or is it when he goes to the graveyard in general is destroyed and sent to the graveyard you get to special summon or raid raptor from your um graveyard and you attach stranger falcon to it as a material not bad, it's almost like Revolution Falcon Air Raid in the TCG, but obviously Revolution Falcon Air Raid's better. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Like I said, I'm going to try to make this a three-part series in the KC Cup. Next video, it's going to be live duels, so be sure to leave a like if you guys are ready for that. And that's all that I have for you guys. Um, thank you for making it this far, and... I'm going to catch you guys later. I'm going to catch my Raid Raptor brethren in the next video. So, peace.